Beijing's influence in the Balkans continues to grow. At this point, Chinese economic presence in the region does not pose a risk for the Western powers, as all the Balkan countries are firmly in the geopolitical orbit of the European Union and the United States. However, in the long term, Chinese engagement with the region may prove to be strategic should it produce greater future access to the European market. That is one of the reasons why the EU officials fear that the Balkans can easily become one of the chessboards where the big power games can be played. I'm your host Kasim and thanks for joining me for another KJ vid. In this video we will discuss China's interests in the Balkans. But just before we start, please kindly visit our website kjvids.co.uk and subscribe to one of our plans which will give you unlimited access to our content and the full transcripts of these reports. The Balkans mostly represent fertile soil, characterised by economic stagnation, corruption, weak governance and high unemployment rates on which European, American, Russian, Turkish and Chinese companies can easily put down their roots. Unlike other major world powers, China is presently focused on growing investments and increasing its economic footprint in the region, refraining so far from positioning itself on geopolitical matters. China's increased engagement in the Balkans is driven by a geo-economic and political logic. The main form of Chinese economic cooperation in the region is lending money for infrastructure projects, mainly in transportation and energy. From a perspective of the Balkan countries, Chinese investments present both opportunities and risks. They can help to completely transform and develop the region, but the visionary projects can also burden governments with large debts, as well as economically unviable infrastructure and increased dependency on China. On the other hand, the whole region is already heavily dependent on the EU and the US. At present, the EU is the main trade partner for the Balkans, accounting for 73% of its trade. China's share of trade with the region is much lower, accounting for 5.7% of the overall trade in the region. In April 2012, just a year before Xi Jinping became president, China launched the 16 plus 1 initiative, a platform bringing together China and 11 EU member countries in Eastern Europe, as well as 5 candidate states in the Balkans, Serbia, Montenegro, Bosnia, Herzegovina, North Macedonia and Albania. Lately, Greece too has made an effort to join the grouping of post-communist states, which has been rebranded 17 plus 1. Ever since, China started making important investments in infrastructure in Serbia, North Macedonia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and also in Montenegro, where Chinese road and bridge cooperation is building a highway that is intended to link the Adriatic port of Bar to Serbia's capital, Belgrade. The Montenegrin government's borrowing from China to finance the road's cost, estimated at 1.3 billion euros, has sent the country's debt soaring from 63% of gross domestic product in 2012 to almost 80%. If Montenegro were to default, the terms of its contract for the loans even give China the right to access Montenegrin land as collateral. Chinese investments in the Balkan countries that are out of the EU are primarily concentrated in Serbia, which is the region's largest economy and accounts for 44% of regional GDP. Beijing's project related to Serbia mostly includes the modernization of the country's infrastructure, as well as China's Huawei, who offers to help Belgrade build its 5G network. So far, Serbia has been pinpointed for projects worth more than 2.5 billion euros. The most significant project is the upgrade of the Belgrade-Budapest railway. By modernizing the railroad, Beijing would establish a transportation corridor between Piraeus in Greece and Western Europe via North Macedonia, Serbia and Hungary. It remains to be seen if this project will be implemented, since the EU is attempting to block it. Serbia also plans to buy armed drones from China. If such trade takes place, the world's second largest economy will export unmanned military aircraft to Europe for the first time. Belgrade has reportedly agreed to the delivery of nine combat drones who are able to strike targets with bombs and missiles and can be used for reconnaissance tasks. 
The growing Serbian-Chinese cooperation has some interesting moments. Recently, Chinese police started joint patrols with their local counterparts in three Serbian cities. Officials said the measures will help a growing number of Chinese tourists feel safe when they visit Serbia, although two of the target cities, Novi Sad and Samedrevo, are better known for Chinese investment than for tourism. Some far-sighted observers describe Beijing's influence as well as Chinese police presence in the country as a form of neo-colonization. However, Serbia as well as the whole region is already a de facto Western colony, and Chinese political influence in the Balkans is still very limited. It is worth mentioning that in 2016, Chinese police started patrolling the streets of Italian cities such as Venice, Rome and Milan. Last year, law enforcement officers from China also joined Croatian colleagues apparently protecting Chinese tourists in the former Yugoslav Republic. Many analysts argue that Chinese police patrols, although unarmed, directly undermine remnants of the country's sovereignty. Apart from the economic presence, Chinese cultural influence in the region is reportedly growing. The government of Republika Srpska, the Serb-dominated entity in Bosnia and Herzegovina, has authorised the Ministry of Education and Culture in the entity to sign an agreement on the provision of Chinese classes with the Confucius Institute in Beijing. September 2017. Also, Chinese companies are increasingly present in the entity, with more investments announced recently, such as a 300 million euro worth highway project. Many universities in Serbia, like the University of Belgrade and the University of Novi Sad, have cooperation agreements with Chinese universities which enable their students to come and study in Serbia. Due to the growing Chinese influence in the region, many analysts expect the influx of Chinese students in the future. According to some research, most of the Chinese students are coming to Serbia because in the future the business between the two countries will be growing and Chinese companies will need a lot of people who can speak Serbian. However, in spite of growing economic influence, China still has little cultural appeal to young people in the Balkans who are emigrating to Western countries in large numbers, driven away by the lack of job opportunities at home. According to the European Enlargement Commissioner, Johannes Han, the EU might have overestimated Russian and underestimated Chinese influence in the Balkans. The EU leaders fear that Beijing's main aim is to use the region as a gateway and a commercial platform to Western Europe, where the real Chinese interests lie, in its insatiable search for markets, technology and knowledge. According to pro-West apologetics, there is no public debate in the Balkans about the opportunities and challenges related to increased Chinese presence in the region. On the other hand, there is no public debate on the US and EU economic, cultural and military presence either which puts the Balkan countries in a position of modern colonies where various colonial powers are fighting for political, economic and cultural influence. That's all for today guys, thanks for watching another KJ vid. We hope you enjoyed the video and would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please don't forget to visit our website kjvids.co.uk where you can access the full transcripts of our reports and a lot more analysis. Thanks for watching again and see you next time.